So here we have a 2023 Ford Transit electric van and in this video just kind of have a look at the state of the battery pack. This van has a 400 volt lithium ion battery pack with 68 kilowatt hours of usable capacity and the gross capacity is 75 kilowatt hours. If you were to buy this van new now you can either have the same battery pack or what they call an extended range pack where you get 89 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. So I've done a similar video to this on another one of these e-transits I had in about four months ago. But this van has done 16,000 miles and it is now two years old. So let's remove this cover here, which is very tight. You've got to be a bit brutal removing that. There's a lot of clips holding that cover on. And that then exposes the diagnostic port. I can plug in the dongle for my scanner there and we can fire up the scanner. So that huge lithium ion battery pack under the floor there is a 68 kilowatt hour pack and typically in electric vehicles you would expect the battery pack to lose about one to three percent capacity per year. More typically, it's nearer the 1%. It's only the uh, earlier cars with the poorer battery chemistry. It's like the Nissan Leaf and the Nissan EMV 200. They are more like 3% a year, but most modern EVs, it's more like 1% a year. So with this one, I'm expecting it to be anything between 1% and 2% loss. It's now a two-year-old car, so it should be between 98 and 96% state of health. So what we're going to do here is go into the battery energy control module. Let's see if I can move that so I don't get shadows on the screen. And then we're going to read the codes. No, I didn't want to read the codes. I've got to go back. I want to look at the live data. There. There. So this is going to look at all the information coming from the battery BMS, the battery management system. And in these, it records the current state of health. That can apparently fluctuate a little bit. It can go up as well as down. This did get charged to 100% uh, a day or two ago. And it did then a balancing routine. So I'm expecting this to be pretty accurate now. So. We can go through all the information here, which I will scroll through fairly slowly. So you can pause the video if you want to have a look at any of this. But what I have seen when looking at this before is a lot of this isn't actually relevant to a battery pack. Um, we'll see if we can get to some of that information in a minute. But obviously all of this voltages and things are. Um, but there was things like exhaust gas information in here from when I was looking before, which is a bit strange. So maybe this ECU or the software is used in the combustion engine vehicle or more likely the hybrid version. So, yeah, here we go. We've got NOx figures and things. A bit strange for an electric vehicle. Um, but yeah, and it's called a hybrid battery, whereas this isn't a hybrid, of course. So somewhere down here, we should see a battery health. So here we've got state of charge, 80%. Remaining charge is 74%. Here we go. That's the one we're looking for. The battery state of health displayed 97.5%. So in this case, this particular van, after two years and 16,000 miles, it has lost 2.5%. So that's 1.25% per year. So bang on what I was expecting. 
and I'll just show you here the rest of the information we can get out of this battery pack just in case you're interested I'll quickly whiz through that but as far as state of health goes that's exactly what I was expecting and what you tend to find or what we're now finding with these lithium-ion battery packs in EVs is that's not a linear degradation it will probably lose well at the moment it's losing 1.25 percent per year but that will probably tail off as it gets a few years old and it won't lose so much as it gets older so these are all not supported parameters we've got a bit more information there I think we're getting to the bottom of it. There we go. That's all the information you can get out of the battery pack on these. So let me just get out of that. Escape, escape. Let's go out of that. And I can now remove that and put this panel back on. It goes on a lot easier than it comes off. So there we go. After two years and 16,000 miles, the battery in this van is still at 97.5% state of health. However, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes up a little bit because this van hasn't been used for about four months and I've just sold it and it's now gonna go into regular use and regular charging. So I wouldn't be surprised in this case if this battery pack health jumped up to 98% or so if I was to scan this in a week's time or so. But anyway, I won't have opportunity or won't have the opportunity to do that. But I thought you might find this useful. I thought I'll record this before this one goes out. Okay, doke, hope you found it interesting or useful. If you have, please do click the thumbs up. That really does help. And if you want to know more about these Ford e-transit electric vans. I've made a few videos now, more will be coming, but I'll put a link below to a playlist where you can see those other videos. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one. The videos I make on this channel are primarily to help others and share knowledge. If you found a video helpful, please show your appreciation by at least clicking the thumbs up button and leaving a comment also helps too, as does subscribing to the channel. All of this is free of charge. I do not use paid memberships or Patreon, which is how most YouTubers earn their money. I only earn from the YouTube ad commissions. But under every video on this channel is a super thanks button. So if you found a video particularly useful or maybe it saved you money or time, then please consider a donation using the super thanks button. You could buy me a coffee, a pint or contribute to the running cost of this channel. There's over 1100 videos on this channel now. So please have a browse, use the search and have a look at the playlists.